Photosynthesis is perhaps one of the most commonly understood biological processes. Plants capture light energy from the sun and use it together with water, carbon dioxide and soil nutrients to grow. Now scientists at Plant and Food Research are using this simple principle, along with a sophisticated understanding of orchard production systems, to test whether New Zealand's already highly productive orchard environments are capable of yielding even greater returns to growers. As lead scientist Stuart Tustin explains. This is an example of a modern intensive orchard growing on dwarf rootstocks. This is what we use as our best practice for orchard production today. The typical productivity of our best growers in these orchards is around 80 to 100 tonnes per hectare. In New Zealand we have about 20 years experience with these intensive orchards and international benchmarking tells us that our orchards are amongst the most productive in the world. So the scientific question really is what do we need to do to be able to change productivity manifestly higher and is it actually possible uh, by changing the orchard system. Now we're standing in a new prototype orchard system that we are exploring the possibility for increasing productivity by as much as two times over what the conventional intensive orchard systems are capable of. In this prototype we have brought the rows much more close together and we're redesigning the shape of the plant to produce very tall, thin, planar canopies with very little shade but a high leaf area and a high exposure of leaves to increase the total sunlight interception. We can see in this tree in the first year in the orchard the beginnings of the structure that we're trying to develop. We want a very simplified tree that is running in just one plane with these simple upright vertical fruiting shoots which when they're developed as they're older they will have virtually no branches, just simple columns of fruiting buds with the leaf area highly exposed to sunlight. This way we think we can achieve the high levels of light interception that we need and at the same time get very high light exposure to the fruit which is an essential part of developing high fruit quality. As you might imagine there are many questions scientifically we need to answer with, with this study but the ultimate that we are looking for is to lift productivity of our orchards in New Zealand to a range somewhere around 180 to 200 tonnes per hectare. That's the theoretical upper limit if we can achieve something like 90% light interception. The big questions are really can we design a canopy that can give us that level of light and deception and satisfy all of the other requirements of fruit quality and durability and fruit appeal. And of course we need to understand how this might differ across different cultivars as well.